Hi, my name is Sipika. In this video, I am going to show how to create dependent lookup in MDM. Dependent lookups exist when there is a dependency between lookup tables. IDD provides support for the lookup tables, which is nothing but the drop down list of the value. So, if there is one lookup uh, table, one lookup column which is dependent on the other column, then we call there is a dependency exists between these two lookup tables, and IDD provides a provision to create this kind of dependency. Typical example if there is a type table and the subtype table and the value of the subtype table depends on the selection of the type tables. Another, another example which you can think of is there is a dependency between the state and the country column. The values selected for the country column should decide what state should appear in the state column. This is the same example I am going to use in this demo. There are certain points to consider while creating a dependent lookup in MDM IDD. Dependency can exist between two lookup tables, so there has to be a lookup indicator check, uh, the checkbox switched on in the hub console. There should be a relationship between the two tables. There should be a foreign key relationship between the lookup table on which there is, there is a dependency. Lookup cannot be defined in hub console, it can only be configured in hub console, it can only be defined in IDD. Dependent lookup doesn't work, work on the search filter in IDD. When you create a true dependent lookup, let's say there is a dip, uh, state is a dependent lookup on the country, and you when you create a new record on the which is using the both the lookups, for example, address is using state and the country field, you will see this is a dependency. Dependent lookup will exist, but the dependent lookup will not work when you will do the same uh, search on the same subject area, let's say address, and you have the filter column address in the state. So you will not see such kind of dependency in the search. So it will uh, it is, uh, the state and the country will show all the values irrespective of where they, they are independent or they are dependent. Refer to the KBA article displayed on the screen for more information on dependent lookup. Let's start the demo on how to create the dependent lookup in MDM. In this demo, I am going to show you how the state and the country are dependent on each other and how to create the dependency between state uh, two lookup which is the lookup table for that you have to create the two lookup table and there has to be a base table which is which is referring to those two lookup table so the simple example is state and the country and the address so i uh, for the demo purpose i already created the three, three table something you should note while you create the lookup table since you are creating the lookup table state and the country you should have this lookup indicator on which i already switched it on so there are such, uh, some columns in the lookup state name and state description simulate there are the columns in the lookup countries country name country description both this lookup has been referred by the table address which has a relationship with country and the state make sure when you create the uh, relationship you s you make the lookup display value as appropriate not the row id object in case it is uh, referring foreign key is based on row id object because row id object on the front screen will not make any sense so similarly for the state also you make sure you select the state description presently both country and the state are independent lookup and address is the table which is referring to these two uh, lookups now we want to make the dependent lookup in order to make the dependent lookup you should have the relationship between two lookup tables so here I am going to create a new column in the state because state is going to be depend on the country and I'm going to add the relationship between country and the state similarly you should change the lookup display name here as well Next step is to create the package on, on all the three tables for the data load purpose, for testing purpose and for the identity configuration purpose. In this demo I have already created the package and I have already loaded the data in the country table. So let, let's let load the data in the state table. 
since there is a dependency between state and the country now so each uh, row in the state will point to some country there was already a package and I have uh, I have added a new column in the state field which is the foreign key column of the country table we need to add that in the package I am going to select and add that so that we can add the state and the corresponding countries I have added couple of the states uh, corresponding to the s their country row ID country. Now we have to do the configuration in the IDD. So for demo purpose, I am going to create a new IDD application. and then I'm going to add the subject area on the address table I'm adding the subject area on address after adding all this save and validate the application after we are done with the validation next is the most important step you need to export the IDD application to some path and then make the changes in the IBDD config file to make the lookup dependent lookup work Extract the file here Open the BDD con file Now we have to make the dependent lookup between state and the country and the state is going to be dependent on the country So what we have to do we have to edit the BDD con file for the column state and here we have to do this amended add this greater than sign after that you have to add
make sure you add greater than sign here and then end the tag column here and this tag you have to add for creating the dependent lookup so here this is the line dependent look lookup dependency depends on which column it is depend on see in address we are referring to the country column so we have the address country so in the address table we will see what is the country column this is a column so you and try so we are going to change here and the lookup foreign key is based on state table row id country column row id underscore country and the state table c underscore state save the changes and import this bdd config xml file to the existing file to the existing add application i'm going to import bdd config.xml file that we have changed to the existing application Now let's check if there is a dependency created between state and the country table. Open the subject area address and check the state field. Go to the dependent lookup tab. You will see the dependency is created between country and the state. you can see here there is a dependency for this state lookup on the country column now let's test it by opening the add application i already have inserted couple of records for in the address in the state table for testing so we can utilize that we need to deploy the application first now after the deployment you can open the add application you can see two two columns country and the address select the column and based on that the lookup will be dependent so you can see or not all the four values will be shown which i have created only the value corresponding to the country is getting shown so like if i select us i will see another two values which are dependent on us this is how you can create the dependent lookup in mdm thank you very much for watching this video we will love to hear from you you can write to us at support video informatica.com or you can twitter us at twitter.com/infosupport thank you